this camera. Hello everyone and welcome back to another sales update. I say I haven't done one of these for a very long time, um, like a monthly sort of half a month sort of update. I, over the run months of December I did do my auction hauls of Duplo and Lego and that sort of stuff so they were mainly the things which I sold over the over December sort of period. Um, so I'm now going to concentrate on some of the January items. Um, which sold in the first half of January. Um, it's just basically clearing it. So this is basically just a uh, stock clearance. I'm getting ready for some new and better ideas, which I've got coming up in the near future um, for my channel. So let's have a quick, not my channel, my shops and things over there. So a quick look. <laughs> So I'm going to flick over to the start of January. Um, you did see the home screen, how many things I've sold over the last sort of 60 days. So it's not too much really. Uh, I've been having a bit of a change around what I've been doing. So, right. So what I started to do at the start of January um, or end of December, I used to have all my computer games all as single listings and a lot of them were always under free parents, things like that. So I've made a constant decision and... I know I no longer sell anything less than a uh, than a fiver uh, at the moment, and Sony is going to start increasing its price. Um, so I bundled up all my cheap games and start putting things together. So this was a just six Disney sort of um, children's games. Went for twelve pound free postage, and I do believe it's the same buyer who bought both of them. Yep, yeah, so that jobs in for, that was job good for me. Um, I also bought the um, five kids games as well. So one postage um, for both games. Um, some um, some basic webbing which I've got kicking around, so lots of sort of stuff sort of hanging around. So again, say a fiver, and that's it. That's my lowest price. Um, Samuel's just in the car. I'm waiting for my wife. She's at the physio at the moment, so we're just sitting here. I thought I might as well do this as I'm sitting here. So we've got a Tommy Tippy white grey steriliser for six thirty. These are random prices because I also put a fifteen percent January sale on at the same time as well. So you'll see some strange prices coming over. Uh, it's not me being trying to be funny with my prices it's basically because they sell on a January sale and they've been sitting around for a long time um, another Sims Sims game so um, $4.49 plus, plus um, $1.99 postage sort of on here not really much to say on this one this was a, a castle uh, which I sold on my auctions you saw it sold off for the auctions so it went for £35 um, they never paid they, they never paid for it. I sent um, second chance offers out. Um, no one paid for that either. So in the end, I decided to upload it again um, at forty pounds because it went for an auction for thirty five pounds for Christmas. I thought, well, I might, might be able to get a little bit more. Put it on for forty, and it went. So quite happy with that set. It's two sets, but but none of them are complete. So we did make a nice little bundle up though, over there. Um, this was um. Star Wars widescreen set. It went over to Germany. I've had recently received this is a strange little case actually going on at the moment. Um, they received it and said it wasn't in the language they wanted. Well, I did say it was English, um, and they wanted it in German, the main language, for some strange reason. But they they want they're trying to send it back. I accepted the return, um, which they are paying for the postage. And two hours after I sent uh, accepted the return. I got a notification from eBay saying it's been delivered. I thought that is impossible from Germany to the UK within two, three hour window of delivery of saying yeah. So I contacted eBay and um, they've, they, they've accepted it sort of on there and they've told, they're now told the buyer to provide proof of postage um, by a certain date. If they don't provide proof of postage by that certain date, I keep the money um, sort of on there. So it is in the win for me sort of on there itself. Um, some trivia pursuits. This is, I didn't even know I had these listed. They're sort of kicking around. So it went for 140. Um, I think they're now all off now, but I did sell. And uh, same with same with the connects. Um, this was during the time when I was sorting this out. Um, they ordered these; they got the wrong shape. But now what I've done now, I've now taken all my connects off, and I've made giant bundles um, of the connects sort of coming around there, uh, just to try to shift them, because I, I I'm taking everything off for a fiver, less than a fiver. So again, these things sort of kick around. Should it realise? Um. This one actually sold to one of the subscribers. Uh, I can't remember who it was on top of my head. So um, you can see your, your username. So 
Art Baden, yeah, if, if it's you, um, thank you very much for the comments and that sort of thing. And I hope you received the disc of my tax returns, how I do my tax returns um, as well, because as you asked for that at the same time, so I emailed it over to over there. So thanks again for your little support on my channel. Um, so I decided to dig out all the baby clothes. We've got five or six boxes. I've been saying this for nearly a year now, and I've done nothing about it. So I decided, no, let's dig it out. And anything worth a five or more, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list as an individual listing. And the rest of them, I'm going to job lock them off into age-appropriate bundles. So this was the first one to go. at six pounds for a little Disney summer dress. Um, another little game. Again, this is on the auction, sort of on the, on the sales. Uh, so it went for four forty nine. There's a Forza. Um, Black Ops. So nothing really special on there. There's £8 for the Black Ops game. Um, Hammer Professional. This is one of my last... I've only got one drill left from that large lot of um, electrics equipment I bought a while ago. I bought a whole massive job lot of £110 um, of drills. And I'm selling off slowly. They get, tend to go around about £20, £30. Sort of average sort of sale price. I mean profit now. Another job lot of kids games. This is five games, um, sort of on here, just for nine ninety fifty nine, and then these are, are my Amazon recalls. Remember, in January last year, I think it was January last year, I decided to do a a trial of selling secondhand DVDs up at Amazon. Um, it did it did all right for a fair bit, and didn't do for certain things. So um, in the end, I bought back ones which were worth a little bit of money, and got others destroyed up at Amazon. Um, so these ones came back, 31 disc, I sold for £16, um, sort of over there. Yes, it was free postage, it only cost me, um, I think it's just under 2 kilos, so it was quite happy, sort of on there. Uh, Lego sets, so um, now what I've decided to do now, after all the Lego auctions and sort of thing, uh, I only did the auctions for summertime, or for the winter, so for the winter time period, I've now started to put more sets on. At buy it now, so some decent prices. This was um, a Lego Droid Transporter 7929 at £25. So this is the first of my Lego holes, um, Lego sort of stuff to go kick around. Um, another PS1 Colin McRae went for £7 plus £7 postage. So, um, if you don't know, that global shipping program does not ship out media. Um, sort of computer games sort of thing through the global shipping program. So what I do, I have a standard fee of seven pound worldwide of a single computer game, and um, and that's made since doing that. I've had far more sales um, coming over, so that's really really good thing. And sometimes when they go to Europe, they don't cost seven pounds. Um, it's only when the rest of some when they go to New Zealand, they cost a little bit more. So um, it sort of pays itself out eventually. I'm sort of coming over there. Um, a VTech Battleship. Um, this has been inside my part of the shape oh, excuse me for uh, quite some time now um this is the holes of computer if you follow my channel for a while i picked this up about two years ago it's been sitting around for two years and i decided to, i finally decided to list it and it went within two three days of actually listing it for 23 pound um army surplus clothing so as they um i've upped the price on these now because i did have posters on them but i took posters off by mistake and then um, I realised I'm selling them all at a cheaper price, so they're now all gone up for seven pound. Um, so they're not six, they're not four pound anymore. They've gone to seven pound. Um, this was a bit of a fail, really. The Skylander supercharged stuff. Um, Smiths was selling them off free for a fiver. Um, free games for a fiver. Um, I, I bought loads, and this is the first one to sell. And I bought these in September, uh, so it's taken a very long time for these to sell. Another Lego Harry Potter set. This is the Quidditch Supplies um, with Draco Malfoy. Uh, no, no box or anything. Just a small little mini set uh, for twenty-five pound. Probably when this was bought, that's probably about a twelve-pound set. So um, you see there, second-hand stuff. I still double my money sort of on these sets, sort of on there. Another Lego set anniversary. Um, this was a free gift I got a while ago um, in two thousand fifteen when I was down in the Lego shop buying some stuff for myself so this has been sitting around don't need it anymore got 11.20 for it famous five books so um they're now coming off now as job lots so i'm not selling individual books anymore they're going as job lots now uh, again another file of shame sitting around for nearly two years i've um, got 17 pound for wooden scrabble um i've got one more of these which i haven't done yet the box is a little bit worse condition than this one so um i didn't do i didn't do two of them straight away because i wanted to see if they actually went so i'm not going to do the second one now and get that one out <coughs> 
this was a commission sale for my local charity shop, um, a horse and animal sanctuary, which they, they supply me loads and loads of computer games um, and that sort of stuff all the time. They asked, they asked me, did I want to buy this? And I said, no, there wasn't too much money in it for me for what they wanted. But I said, what I'll do, I'll sell it for a 30% commission fee. And um, and they were happy with that. So it sold for £65 and I took 30% plus the postage off that. Yeah, so they received £40 and I kept and I got the other, other little bit of money out of it. And they were more than happy with doing things like that. And I'm doing that, and we're now doing that more in the future. So sometimes I'm selling things for charity shops at the same time as selling for me and getting 30% commission. So that's another little avenue. If anyone ever thought of doing that before, that's another little stream of income coming in. So no real outlays for myself. It's this nice sort of thing over there <coughs> um this was a good sale as well before christmas i sold exactly the same truck but with instructions this time for 25 pound in in bids and now i sold another truck without instructions for 25 pound without bids um so you can see um with roughly bids and buy it nows are coming on pars uh, sort of on there itself so you can get really really good prices in there if i've got a bit of a lisp i've got a bit of an ulcer on my tongue so i keep biting it and keep hurting on it over there so i do apologize um some more ps2 bundles so again you can see this for a 10 pound for two shadow and um, sonic the hedgehogs but again seven pound postage so again it's gone abroad somewhere likewise with a disney infinity portal base got six pound for the portal base for the free and but also another seven pound postage uh, but this was one of the ones which cost me a little bit more i think this one went to new this one went to new zealand where that one only went to oh, i'm pointing at the screen you can't actually see me uh, where the sonic one only went to ireland so it's a lot cheaper to go to ireland and it was to go to new zealand so they sort of balance themselves out um these are things i sell for the scout group so I basically sell their badges and I buy other things for the group so I'm not too worried about those uh, another jacket so this went for this uh, again this has gone abroad so um this went for 15 pound but they didn't want to pay the global shipping program prices so what I do do is some people do want to pay a little bit cheaper um, global shipping program I um this I actually went on this went to Spain and gave them a postage price of 14 pound to go to Spain so um and they were more than happy with that so you you've got to sometimes do these things just to make sure you can secure some of these sales uh, more people are more than happy to go to global shipping program but if they don't I, I will accept um, a change in my listings just to put posters on for them for that one country only. Um, a manual, so these are really well, these are Haynes magazines, they're not worth it anything at all. Um, see, I've got two pounds plus three pounds things, so there's my five pound threshold, um, sort of on here, but again, they're not really worth too much because they do cost it, did cost me three pounds to post it or two pounds six to post it because of the weight and the size of them. So they're not really worth picking up anymore. So I've got, still got, I had round about 300 of these things. I've probably got round about 60 left. So I'm probably going to job lot the last 60 off as one big job lot. And let someone else deal with it. Um, love it. This is a second bit of clothing. What went, so this is a next baby denim dungarees with poppers at the bottom. Um, so I've got £8 for this. So um, that one went out. A fishing, oh, fishing. Um, a riding helmet. This one's been kicking around for a very, very long time. I've um, got £10 for the... Sh I did drop the price. This was at about £14. Dropped it down to a tenner and got a sale on there. And um, the last thing for the 15th is a Lego clock. So I picked this up at a charity shop for 50p. And they said it wasn't working. Got it home and cleaned up the battery terminals. And got it working again and got £8 for it. Um, so I think that's the last thing for the 15th. And there we go. Another computer game for... Um, Nintendo Wii this time for £7 with Zumba Fitness. Um, there we go. So I did say I upped the price. So they did. They were going at £4, but um, I upped the price up to £7 uh, because I forgot to do, take the posters off. I wanted to try to free posters to try and get my listings a bit higher up. So change the price, it still went. I'm still quite happy. And that's it. Takes me to the 16th. So, um... Hope you enjoyed my little sales update. This is just a general stock clearance sort of thing coming out over here. Um, some Lego. I started having some Lego sales on here, but you'll see my next haul, uh, my next load of sales. I've now um, got some of the big Lego sets on, and I've got some really good Lego sales um, on my next half of the month. 
it's just playing with Thomas at the moment in the background. <laughs> but thanks again. Thanks for all the support. If you like this, put a, um, put a like down below. Any comments, what you thought of um, what your sales have been like the first half of January? Have you changed anything? Um, I will be doing an update of my new channel going forward, on my new channel, my new shop going forwards, uh, probably um, tomorrow. I might put it on Saturday just to give a little, I'll do a live hangout for that one. Uh, and thanks everyone, and I'll see you later on. Bye for now.